Yo, welcome back to another video on the Best Knowledge channel and today it is Premier League Predictions Match Week 4. Let's get right into this with the first game. What is the Saints? Uh, a 12.30 kick-off at the St Mary's. Um, Southampton, they did well last week against uh, Leicester. They got a win and then obviously Man U beat Liverpool on the Monday night. But I can see a draw happening in this game. No, 11th versus 14th. I'm saying a draw. Next game is a very tight game at the relegation zone for Everton. It's Brentford versus Everton. Now, Brentford last week had an absolute, probably one of the games of the weekend against Fulham. Mitrovic is on fire at the moment. He's class. I mean, I did say he wouldn't step up, but, you know. Brentford, Everton. Oh, I don't want to say it. Brentford are going to win. I just think Brentford have a better squad. So, and Everton, they have performed. They look terrible every match what they play. And if it doesn't go for long, Frank Lampard's going to be out of that door. But Brighton versus Leeds. I mean, Brighton versus PSG. How come Brighton... Uh, no, Brighton are fifth and Leeds are third. How have Leeds turned into buddy prime Barcelona? I all they brought in is Aronson and that's it. And now they look like Buddy Prime Barcelona. Like what? But Brian Leeds, I can see Leeds winning it again. Probably a two one away win. Chelsea versus Leicester. Now Leicester I think they're going to get relegated because they haven't won yet. They're 19th, Chelsea 12th. But I've got to back Chelsea. Leicester look awful this season. One of the teams. So Chelsea are going to win that game for me 2-1. Liverpool versus Bournemouth. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Wow. I mean, how bad do Liverpool look? You thought, oh, maybe they'll go to Old Trafford and win a game. No. Liverpool are 16th and Bournemouth are 15th. But I still think that Liverpool will get their first win of the season against Bournemouth. If they cannot get... If they could not beat Bournemouth at Anfield, then Klopp needs to get out that door. So, I've got to say Liverpool 4 0. But, I don't even know. Oh, Man City versus Palace. I hate every time we play Palace at the City Stadium. Because we're playing against Barcelona in like a buddy friendly light. I don't get it. I heard it's like a charity match or whatever, but. Why couldn't they have done that while it was pre-season? But the Beatles last season at the Etihad, so they're our bogey team at the Etihad. They, they didn't lose to us last season, but surely we could have lost against Newcastle. We played absolutely rubbish. Newcastle made us look like a shit team. So, I think we'll be Palace, but we were lucky to come back with a, a draw against um, Newcastle. Next game is Arsenal Fulham. You see that William Saliba go? He's in the wrong position. First versus seventh, Arsenal. Wait, I think it's going to be a draw, you know. I think Mitrovic is going to score. And then Saka. 
Mitro and Saka. Because they're just sick at the moment. <clears throat> Moving on to the Sunday kickoffs. Aston Villa versus West Ham. West Ham are rock bottom in the Premier League. And Aston Villa are 13th. Now, Gerard has. Has Gerard won a game? Yeah, he has. He beat Everton. But Gerard's going to be out of that door soon. Gerard's going to be out. Because. But I think. Moyes is going to be sacked in the next few games, if, especially. This one is a six pointer already. Because. Villa, they've got three points. If you win that game, you could go at least 15th. So. Next game is Wolves versus Newcastle. Wolves are 18th. They haven't won yet this season. Really, I don't know if I thought I did. Oh, it's because they won it, Carabao Cup. Wolves 18th versus. Uh, Newcastle, who are six. I think that this is going to be a win for the Jordy boys. I'm saying 1 0 to the Jordies. Then moving on to the final game of Premier League predictions. Well, of that day, because it's a double game week. Let's get a round of applause for the first double game week. The final game on the Sunday is Nottingham Forest versus Zero Trophy. I mean Tottenham Hotspurs. Tottenham are fourth, Nottingham Forest are tenth. I'm going to say it, Tottenham. Then moving on to the Tuesday games, I'm going to quickly run through these. Crystal Palace versus Brentford. I think they will lose to Man City. But I think against Brentford they will draw. Southampton versus Chelsea. I think Chelsea are going to nick that. Because Chelsea have got two winnable games. Next game is Leeds versus Everton. I think Leeds are going to draw this. Just have a feeling. Fulham Brighton is going to be a 2-1 to Brighton. Moving on to the Wednesday fixtures, Bournemouth versus Wolves. I'm saying one 0 Bournemouth. Arsenal versus Villa. I am saying three one to Arsenal. Manchester City versus Forest. I'm saying three 0 West Ham versus Spurs. I'm saying two 0 to Spurs. Liverpool versus Newcastle. I'm saying two one to Liverpool. Leicester versus Man United, I am saying 1-0 to Manchester United. Now, there will be a late video today, because um, I am doing my live reaction to the Carabao Cup draw, because City are in it and all like the big teams, such as Man U, all the big teams are in it now. Um, so there'll be a live reaction to that, so there'll be another video going up today. Because I just like giving you awesome content. And the thing is, I know yeah, last week I didn't post the uh, Premier League predictions early enough, so it didn't really pop off as the first one. But, yeah, so make sure you watch my clips, because... I've now been posting clips onto YouTube now, and some of them are quite funny. Well, I mean, I think they are, but I mean, you might, but this way I'm going to end the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit your notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any top quality content coming your way in the weeks and months ahead, such as a video of what I am doing at 10 o'clock tonight where it's my live reaction to the Carabao Cup draw. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a very good rest of your day and stay safe.
and stay like a YouTuber. Bye.